Uncle Rico. This one's for you, buddy. Oh my gosh, jumping up in the stealth. Can we take this sucker out? Boom for the Rumpage. That's what I'm talking about, baby. All right, scanning, trying to pick out our next target. Who's it gonna be? Oh my gosh, lighting him up. Oh, God, like we absolutely annihilated that guy. What in the world? All right, let's see. Can we get this guy? Oh, no, we couldn't. Let's get a line of sight on him jumping up. Can we take him out? Yes, we get the beyond guy. Like, holy cow. This thing is heating up out here in the streets. Oh, my gosh. Look at this guy. All right, waiting for this reload. Can we take him out of there? Oh, for the living legend, dude. Are you freaking serious, man? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is in your neck of the woods. This is Tony, and welcome to today's video. So we are continuing our No Meta Monday series. This is episode two, and today's highlight is going to be The Raven, a tried and true great old robot that's been around for a very, very long time and has been effective and relevant nearly the whole way through. With the addition of the Nessa Riggs pilot a year or two ago, this really brought it more up to the current level and state of the game. This build is really, really fun. We're gonna be using the Cryptic Hazard and Eldritch Blight, along with one repair amp and two nuclear amps, along with Unstable Conduit. I like to have two nuclear amps to get the amps charged up faster, one repair amp for a little bit of durability. You could swap it out with an immune amp, but I like the repair amp just to be a little bit tanky. And you could use phase shift. I like to use unstable conduit sometimes for like really fast targets. Um, the unstable conduit can help lock them down so you can get more effective shots on them. And then of course, we're gonna be using the Kestrel drone since it's rework. Now you get on stealth fix. So you have two jumps and you're gonna be fixing yourself each time get the 10% on kill speed, 7% additional damage, and you get 15% additional damage to enemies within 150 meters range. So when they get all up in your face like a can of makes in that danger zone, you can take them down a whole lot faster. And for our pilot skills, Roadhog, Invulnerable Raider, Adamant Roadhog, Modules Expert, Armor Expert, Dodger, and Foolhardy Quartermaster. Um, I have two, two different skills on here that are revolving around beacons. One is the invulnerable raider because I'm gonna be jumping beacon to beacon. So that's gonna give me an extra 40 defense points for 30 seconds once I do cap a beacon. And then if we only have two, I get adamant roadhog so I can qu more quickly get to those beacon. Um, so that's the reason behind those. The Raven is a stealthy jumpy bot. It's great for getting to get beacons and sniping people out. Totally, totally fun. Totally, totally amazing. Without further ado, let's hop on right into this gameplay so we can see this old legend in action. Shout out to Uncle Rico, my good friend in a tried and true Raven pilot forever, man. He's out there representing for the Ravens forever. Shout out to Uncle Rico. So I was thinking about it. I'm like, you know what? I could either just put clips of some of my best raven moments or do full gameplay videos i decided on going the full gameplay videos um especially for the reason because i'm not running a meta hanger and i just wanted people to see you know how i play the tactics i employ um to compete in the current meta without having meta bots and robots of course you're going to get matches where you have maxed out ultra meta players but then you're going to get matches that you don't have that experience. So it's a, it's across the board. You never know what you're going to get in a match. But that's why you just keep playing because every single match is different. Everyone has different robots, different play styles, different titans, etc. And you're playing on different maps. So you always have unique experiences, which makes this game so much fun. So sometimes I try to alternate my shots and put them in sequence instead of all at once because if you hit like a Typhon Shield, for example, you're not gonna break through. But if you alternate your shots, you're gonna be able to bust through those shields and take them down. Very killed, nice, nice, nice. All right, let's see what's going on here. You always wanna remember 600 meters is your distance for these weapons. All right, let's see if we can pepper this guy up, drop his shield. All right, he took some decent damage there. All right, this time we're gonna maybe use a jump Okay, he's getting low. 
All right, let's trigger his last stand. All right, we had to get out of the way right there. We had a bunch of people starting to look at us, and they were starting to fire. So I had to get out of there because we would have been taken down quick. Our repair amps are not charged up yet, so we would have taken a ton of damage. You need to be super cautious, man, in the beginning. All right. Peekaboo! <laughs> he totally did not expect that. He thought I was down there completely out of sight, and that Raven jump definitely put me over the top and was able to get line of sight and take him down, dude. What a fun, fun build. What a fun, fun build. All right. We're able to get him down about halfway. Let's wait for him to pop out one more time. Here we go. Lighten him up. Oh, man. So close to taking him down. All right. This guy just spawned in. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. He was going to be super vulnerable. That's why I switched targets. All right. Let's see. Let's try to pepper this dude up. All right. That's the Lynx. He has that defense system. All right. Let's see if we can alternate our shots. Take this guy down. Oh, so close. We just don't have the damage output right now. Let's see if we can get him a nice strafe maneuver. Boom, 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 boom. Yes. We get the beyond god like. Oh, my gosh. What a fun, fun build here. Uh-oh, he's going into stealth. We need to be super cautious, man. Super, super cautious. All right, let's do a stealth jump here. Try to light him up. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Living legend, boy. Oh, you'd love to see it. So, so, so much fun. All right, we're getting lit up by that dude. All right, we hit him. Unfortunately, he went to stealth. I want to try to keep this, uh, keep this going, man. I'm not so much going for beacons at the moment in this match. Um, but I am pulling a lot of the aggro and attention from the enemies. You could tell they're getting upset with me. They're all starting to uh, slowly turn their focus from the beacons to me. All right. Oh, boy. We got a Nodens Kabodens. Uh oh, and an Ophion flying. Oh, we need to be super cautious. All right. That guy. Oh, I think we might be able to take this dude out. Uh oh. We're getting flambéed right now. We are getting flambéed. Oh, man. We got out June and Scorped at the same time. We got taken out. All right, this time we're dropping in our Typhon with Scourge. Really fun setup. I like this build a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Especially when people try to get in close on you. It does a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal amount of damage. Like an unreal amount of damage up close. I was trying to get this guy because he keeps launching those homing rockets over the top at us. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, no. No, no, no. Someone hit us with a mute mothership, man. We, were gonna, we had a really good chance to take that Titan down fully. So I'm just keeping... Oh my gosh, what happened? The Titan dropped down over there, a Rook. Oh lord. I'm trying to just keep the pressure up. Um, since I'm not running a meta hanger, I can't really hang and brawl on center like I could. So I have to uh, just try to keep up pressure on their home. Oh my gosh, can we take the Scorpion down? No! All right, we have to be real careful here. Okay, they just took our home spawn, but that's fine. So if you guys were to use any older Titan right now, I highly, highly, highly recommend the Luchador. I'm actually going to make a video on this this week. Um, the Luchador has had a great insurgence. Um, partly what makes the Luchador so great is its large starting HP pool. Also, its jump ability, its ability to get around the map quickly. And also its reflector. So it's able to withstand a large bombardment of firepower. That along with the sonics. That's a great counter to the flames. Um, you're able to take the opponent's ability away. To get that massive amount of healing. Um, you could run the paladin mothership on this still. Or if you do have the avalon you can run the avalon. But even mutal work if you have that. But Paladin is still really great for those tanky builds. If you want to be tankier, the Paladin definitely helps you out a lot. It's actually still really, really good. It's actually better than Avalon in some respects. But the Avalon kind of edges it out for me. Because you get the immunity to all the negative effects. Which to me is like an invaluable thing. Like that is so amazing. So, so amazing. Alright, let's see if we can take that Fafnir down. He's going real slow in the sky, so he's an easy target for us. But the bullet spread on the Sonic Titan weapons is kind of large, so you end up missing a lot of your targets. But since Titans are larger targets, you end up landing most of your shots. Oh, man, we got bounced back by his castling ability. Nice, but we were able to blast him through. 
All right, let's take a look. Ooh, they're on their home spawn over there. All right, let's ditch and go over here to defend. I dropped this in so we can try to kill him with those blast effects. I don't have any zappers on my personal account, or else I would have tried to use those to counter something like a Loki. But all you need to do, as you see there, is get within line of sight so your weapons can impact them and blast them away with your shell ability. Very, very nice. We got five beacons. Seems like this match is in the bag. Yep, it's over with. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. Eleven kills, 5.7 million damage. Beautiful five beacons. Very, very nice showing. All right, so we're dropping into a candy map. This should be a good one for this setup. Uh, the 600 meter range on this um, is going to work really, really well. And we have a large wide open areas with cover sporadically uh, to jump in and out of cover with our Raven jump. So hopefully we can get some good action going here. Beautiful starting off the match with a quick kill right off the bat. You love to see it. Um, every time I spawn on the other side of the map, I'm always so hesitant to go to their flank beacon. Because if the opponents have any type of long range setups, they just have free damage on you. Especially when you're using something like a brawling build, which I normally always do. Ooh, jumping back. Beautiful. Taking him out. Very, very nice. The Raven is so much fun. It has so much value, so much utility. Those two jumps, those two stealth jumps are just really invaluable. Uh, the Nessa Riggs pilot really, really takes this bot to the next level for sure. Ooh, can we thread the needle on him? Yes, indeed. Very, very nice. All right, so we always want to be having our head on a swivel, looking around, trying to see who's where and what they're up to. Because if some, like, something like a Curie with Subduer drops in, they could take us out in a heartbeat. So I try not to leave myself in a situation where I have none of my stealth jumps. I always like to try to preserve one if possible. Right there I used both of them, but I only did that to survive that encounter. Very nice, a godlike just like that, beautiful. All right, let's see what's going on over here on this beacon. Oh man, we couldn't get this guy. Can we tag him? Yes, beyond godlike. So when we were standing on the ground, we didn't have line of sight on him. Our shots were impacting that little hill, but that jump gave us a line of sight to be able to take him out. So, so nice. Oh my gosh, we get the living legend, dude. Holy cow. Oh man, that goes, guy's going into flight right now. All right, we're gonna have to use our unstable conduit to survive this. Oh man, someone stole our kill. All right, let's see if we can take that dude out. Whoa, 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 where'd he go? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Another living legend. All right. Ooh, we're doing some decent damage to that luchador, actually, guys. Did you see that? Holy cow. Can we get this guy on his way down? Oh, my gosh. No, we got the assist. <laughs> All right. Luckily, our teammates are applying pressure, and they're right up in their face. So they're almost putting me on the pain no mind list, and they're definitely paying for that. The regular robots, I'm dropping the last stand instantly. If they don't have last stands, I'm finishing them off. Now I'm going to put my focus on some titans and let's see what, what kind of damage we can do on those titans look at that man so close had i had another shot we would have killed that rook there too all right let's see if we can take this robot out all right we're gonna have to shoot from underneath the bridge here oh my gosh man the match is over already what oh man we're gonna have to play another one that was way too fast way 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 too fast Eight kills, no beacons, but I'm not ashamed of that because I was playing my role and I was helping my team, so I wasn't ashamed of that. Had there been a beacon in need, I would have went for it for sure, but the side of the map that I was working was locked down. All right, we're on Dead City. This is going to be either really good or really bad. There's not tons of long-range lines of sight, so I'm going to have to try to thread the needle through cover here and uh, play a little tactfully if I'm gonna make this build work. All right, let's see, can we get a line of sight on anybody? Nope. With all those little pieces of cover and everything, it's so hard to get a decent line of sight on bots, especially if they know you're there, they're definitely gonna be using cover. All right, let's get back into cover. 
Let's see if we can get this guy on the way out of his ability. Oh, yeah. He's taking some big shots, man. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Very nice. First kill. You love to see it. Oh, let's see if we can get this guy. He just landed. When flying robots land, you want to try to take a stab at them before they get their next flight. Because if they get another flight, they could take you out. Nice double kill. All right. Looking around. Looking around. You always want to look around. You never want to stay in the same position the entire game. You want to continue to move around. If you stay in one spot, they're going to know exactly where you are and they're going to come for you. But if you continue to change your locations, it's going to throw them off balance and they're not going to know where to attack next. And also another benefit of doing that is it's demoralizing to them. If they see you coming from all different angles, they're going to be like, this guy's all over the map. There's 10 of them. There's 10 of them here. I, I, where, where am I getting killed from? I can't see him. So it's also a psychological tactic as well, especially when you're killing the same player over and over. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We got a godlike. Okay, they got a sniper in the back. Let's see if we can counter snipe him. Yeah, <laughs> very nice. Beyond godlike. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Oh, man, so close. Beautiful living legend. Tagged him on center beacon, dude. So, so nice. Can we get him as well? Come on, baby. Oh, living legend. All right, let's grab this beacon since we're right here. Beautiful, beautiful. Ooh, can we thread the needle on this guy? All right, let's see. What's he coming in? What's he coming in? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Getting lit up by a harpy. Oh, yeah, baby. So nice. All right, this Gyros is rolling towards center. It's going to be hard to bust through that because uh, he has all that defense when he's in ball mode. Really, really tough. All right, let's see if we can get this dude landing down behind him, throwing off his aiming. What's that, a Viper Lynx? Oh, man. Dude, shout out to that guy. He gets style points for sure. Oh, <laughs> taken down. All right, this dude is rolling up fast on us we <laughs> holy cow we had enough oh man i didn't know that titan was there we got ourselves in a really bad predicament but i think we had a very very successful run with the raven let's see what this typhon with scourge could do all right lighten him up hit him with that ability let's try to get in close here oh man i want to get the new camp charged up I, I, I want you guys to see, I may have to make a separate video on this, but if you get the nuke camp charged up on this Typhon Scourge, guys, I'm telling you, it is crazy. Especially when you have the River Chase pilot with that additional damage after your ability usage. It's so, so crazy. Unfortunately, all the Titans are out, and Typhon does not do great all the time when Titans are out there. Well, I shouldn't say that, depending on which weapons are on the Typhon. All right, landing in on this guy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's lighten this guy up. Oh, man, we ran out of ammunition, but he is so, so low right now. All right, let's see if we can get this Indra. All right, he's going to his phasing ability. He's about to come out. Here we go, lighten him up. Oh, man, he's taking a good amount of damage. Holy cow, that dude got freaking shellacked. <laughs> he absolutely got shellacked, dude. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, I'm going to make a Luchador video this week. Um, it's definitely, definitely amazing Titan. Amazing, amazing Titan. And, and the great thing about it is right now, uh, with the high DPS Titan meta that we're in, um, it can withstand the flaming Titan weapons and all that stuff. So I'm going to make a video showing you guys exactly how to build a Luchador to make it the ultimate tank to compete against the flaming Eiffels and all that stuff out in the battlefield because it most definitely does and can get the job done without a doubt. All right. This Indra went to hide behind the corner. We got this Angler cruising through. He's on his ability. Oh, man. I should have just hunted that guy down. He got folder tonins on that Indra, and there's nothing he could really do to us at all. We could just take his shots the entire time, and it's never going to affect us because the reload is so long now, and... He, he just doesn't have the, the damage output to even put a dent in us. Very, very good. Shout out to my team. My team did a really, really great job um, attacking beacons and being active. and they, they did a really, really good job. Shout out to the red team as well. Very, very fun match. 
I don't know, man, maybe I'd throw a challenge out there to some of the meta players, uh, put together a non-meta hanger running a little bit. I almost feel like the matchmaking isn't as crazy when you run a hanger like this, but even if you do run into like meta players, you could still, you know, as long as you got a decent Titan and you play it right, you can hang in there and make a difference for sure. All right, another Canyon match. Hopefully we can get lightning to strike twice today. Had a really good match last time we played on this map, got two games ago. Hopefully we can do something good again this time. All right, as always, always got my eye on this, their side flank beacon because whoever goes for it's always completely, completely vulnerable. I know what it's like to be on that side of the map and get sniped. It, <laughs> it's a bad feeling for sure, for sure. If I'm not run, if I'm not running a non-meta hanger like I am today, I always have a brawling hanger. The maximum my weapons are going to shoot is usually 350 meters. So when I'm on a beacon like that out in the open, I'm completely and utterly helpless. All right, let's see if we can tag this guy around the corner, jumping for that extra damage. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see what we got going on here. Can we take this shell out? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful triple kill. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Oh, nice. Getting some good long range shots. Unfortunately, he went off into his flight and has an absorber shield, or else we would have for sure taken him out. All we needed was one more shot. This Ocho's coming at us, boy. Oh, um, holy cow. A brand new full HP Ocho. He started charging at us. We took him down. It, that is bonkers, dude. What a display of the power of this of this setup. Seriously. What a display. Alright, let's keep our eye on this Ophion. Let's try to take him as he lands. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We get the guy like... Uh-oh. We're getting hit with that stuff over there, man. We're getting hit with that stuff. Beautiful. Beyond God like that's what I'm talking about, baby. Oh, my gosh. Alright, lighten this dude up. One more, one or two more shots should do the job. Oh no, we got the assist. Are you serious, man? Alright, let's see what we could do here. Oh my gosh, another assist. Alright, it looks like they have a couple of Titans at center. Oh my gosh, did you see that? We did a nice amount of damage to that serious. Alright, let's go into flight again. Try to hit him with those shots. Oh wow, whoop. Targeting? What are you doing to me, targeting? Oh, man, we got a kill, but we lost our living legend streak. It took too long, man. Uh, they, those guys stole those other two kills on us. Oh, man, isn't that unfortunate? All right, let's keep going here. Let's see if we can take this serious out. Light them up. Boom, we get the Titan Slayer. Dude, that's what I'm talking about, baby. So once you get charged up, you actually do really good damage to Titans, too. Really, really good damage, especially that third shot. That third shot is something serious, man. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, he blasted his back. Can we take him? Oh, man. Somebody got the kill. All right, we are on this beacon here. All right, let's go into flight to try to preserve our life. Uh-oh, we got a looch coming in as well. We're getting knocked all over the place. All right, triple kill. Very nice. Can we get this Ophion as he's landing? Oh, targeting. What are you doing, dude? I need to change my settings. I, I, I altered some of the settings, and now it just it jumps all over the place. I need to go back to the original settings. I'm so used to um, how the targeting system used to work. This new targeting system is completely throwing me off. Right after this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch. All right, coming in with the Phantom. Look at those quick little legs go. Dude, we're getting freaking four-capped. Are you serious? All right, let's grab this center back really quickly, and then we need to move, 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 move. We don't have any time to be playing around. I don't want them to get away with this match. Uh-oh. Someone's got the harpoons on us. I'm going to run. I'm not going to stop there and engage in the middle of the battlefield because I'm going to get absolutely annihilated, especially with that Newton over there with Fulger Tonins. So I'm going to get to the beacon, force him to have to come to me. Yes, beautiful. We're able to turn it neutral. It's white. All right, lighten this dude up. Oh man, unfortunately, all of our ammo is gone, so the shots are coming out really slow, but it's starting to do nice damage right now, actually. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he lifted me up. No bueno, no bueno, no bueno. No bueno, no bueno, no bueno. All right, baby, come on. Yes, we ended up taking it links down. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The Phantom is so much fun, man. So much fun. 
Doesn't have a ton of power, one medium, two lights, but seriously, it's a ton of fun. A ton of fun to play. If you guys want me to make a Phantom video, let me know down in the comment section. I'd be more than happy to do so. Ooh, okay, screw it. I'm not going to sit there and mess with him. I'm going to the beacon. Gotta be beacon focused, beacon minded. Have to do it, especially when we got our beacon runner out here. Oh, and shout out to my buddy. I forgot your name. I started recording for the Loki with Kestrel and Sonics. Um, but I have a bunch of other videos I'm making right now that are coming up before it. But stay tuned, my friend. It's definitely coming. All right. Oh, man. This is a, is this a Sonic Ravana. This is not going to be good. Oh, man. We're out of ammo, too. I wish I would have saved my shots. Oh, it's a Harpoon. Harpoon Ravana. thing is every time he goes into his transcendence that freeze effect wears off him nice 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 we're able to turn the beacon because he kept going into transcendence all right let's drop in while we have this beacon occupied oh no our big old chubby self we couldn't get through the doorway <laughs> all right baby lighten up this luch door all right let's switch targets he's in his reflector we're just gonna end up shellacking ourselves Nice, we ended up getting the beacon back. Beautiful, man. That's what you love to see. All right, he's going for a jump. Where should we go? Where should we go? Okay, teammate. Got that teammate? Trying to give him a little assistance. Trying to give him a little assistance, man. I didn't have I didn't have much faith in him, so I had to give him a little assistance. All right, let's take a dive over here. Let's get after this Luch. Come on, Luchi, Luchi, Luchi. Don't you want to have a Luchi battle with me? Keep on shooting. Forget about it. Yes, baby, Titan Slayer. Once they get really close to dead like that, you can continue to try to shoot the, re the reflector. A lot of the times, you're, you'll still end up getting the kill. But if he has a ton of HP, it's not even worth it. Because you're just going to end up doing a lot of damage to yourself. Especially if your repair amps are not charged up. Okay, we got an assist somehow, some way. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, trying to help with this Skyros. Those Skyroses are tanky as all heck, man. So, so tanky. Right, let's jump over to this dude. Come down with the sumo splash. Oh, man. Oh, man. So close to taking him down. He had a sliver of health left. It seems like that always happens when I'm using the Sonic Titan weapons now. You can get them down like 95 or more percent of the way, and then they, you run out of ammo when they just got a sliver, sliver, sliver of health left. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Can we give this guy the sumo splash? Boom, 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 boom. Oh, where'd he go, man? <laughs> Don't tell me someone else stole that kill, man. I landed on his head. <laughs> oh, man. So much fun, dude. I, I, I've been really having a ton of fun uh, playing in this my account again. Even though it doesn't have the meta, I, I still have a, a blast in these fights. 12 kills, 7 beacons, 8.5 million damage. Very, very respectable. Alright, this is going to be our final, final match, guys. Castle map. Castle map. Beautiful. We're able to get on that beacon. Get our 19% towards our mothership. Alright, let's see here. Oh, man. Wow, we took uh, <laughs> just a couple shots and it did a lot of damage to us. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Those freaking things. Those subduers are no joke, man. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Now we're getting lasered up by something else. We got a weapon popped off. This is no bueno, guys. We are in a no bueno situation. Screw it. Let's risk it for the biscuit. Can we get this guy with a big old strafe jump? Nice, nice, nice. We got a kill. Whoever has those laser weapons in the back. What is that? A siren with two prismas? We need to take him out. He's doing a ton of damage. He is doing a ton of damage. Holy cow. Alright, seems like these guys have uh, much stronger gear this round. Lightning that curry up. Come on, baby. Yes. 
Man, when there's a Curie on the battlefield, especially when he has, I mean, 99% of the time he's going to have the Subduers. you got to get him out of there fast. The Subduers themselves applying that rust, and then the Curie, his built-in ability, his turrets are super strong as well. you just you got to get those Curies out of there, man. Very, very strong setups. All right, let's see. So that guy in the back that I was just peeking at, that's that sniper I need to get out of there. He's running uh, the Siren with Prismas, I believe. Oh, I mean, his purple shield goes up. Okay, let's wait. Uh-oh, Shenlu. Oh, backing on up, jumping. Oh, my gosh. Lighting him up with those shots. Oh, fadeaway jumper. Can we get it? Yes. <laughs> Holy cow. Could you freaking believe that, man? Oh, that was craziness. Craziness, craziness, craziness. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on, baby. We got to get this freaking siren out of there, man. He's a menace. He's an absolute menace. All right. Let's try to take that guy out. Oh, my gosh. We were one shot away. All right. We got to take that dude out. Beautiful. Able to thread the needle. Now we got to get this siren out. This should do it. This should do it. Oh, my gosh. Beautiful. We're on the godlike. Dude, that side, I need to try that setup. He, he was doing a ton of damage. I was not expecting that amount of damage to come out of that build at all. Seriously, I did not expect that. All right, we got Bendy Titans. We got all kind of stuff going on. Things are getting wild out here on the battlefield, guys. Things are getting very, very wild. Oh, my gosh. Beyond Godlike. All right, can we keep this alive, dude? They're starting to focus up. They're starting to target us. We need to be super, super cautious right now. Oh, man, that's another Titan. I'm trying to look for a regular robot so we can get a living legend real quick. Uh-oh, uh-oh, come on, man. I'm trying to target this Ming. That's going to be our easiest target to take out right now. Nice, we got him locked down. All right, we're going to have to do our jump right now. Come on, baby. Can we get him? Oh, he's healing. He's counter healing right now. Oh, my gosh, I'm trying to focus him up. Jeez, Louise, Papa Cheese. All right, he's going behind the wall. He landed. If he, if he goes into flight, we're going to have to take a jump and risk it. There we go. Oh, no. I hit that the freaking pillar, man. Oh, my gosh. I hit the pillar. Totally screwed up our jump. I wanted to take him out. All right. Let's see if we can get him. We got him locked down again. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Waiting for this reload. And then we'll, we'll take a jump to try to get him. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. One more shot. Can we do it? Yes. We get the Titan Slayer. <laughs> Only three weapons too, guys. We're missing. We lost the medium straight off the bat. We took a colossal amount of damage. First from the Subduer Curie. And then from that Prisma Siren. Dropped us down. Lost a weapon super quick. Oh my gosh. The Skyros is trying to get all up in our face like a can of mace. But it didn't work. The evasive maneuvers and tactics of the freaking Raven, man. <laughs> oh man. What a fun, fun setup. All right. Let's see if we can get this guy in the sky. Alright, he's looking around. Alright, let's go for a jump. He's an unstable conduit. Can we lock him down? Alright, peppering up with those shots. Oh my gosh, I wanted that kill so bad. It would have been so satisfying to take out a freaking Eiffel, man, with the Raven. Aljun! Adios, Aljun! What a match. Oh man, for our final one, we did we had a great match here, man. I'm really, really pleased with all with this match. Oh, man. So close. I thought we were going to snag it. Dag nabbit. We couldn't snag it. All right. This guy's charging all over to his home, man. Just get it. Get him out of there. Get it over with. The match is done. GG's. If you guys have any suggestions for any other Reviving Legends builds or No Meta Monday builds, let me know down in the comment section. I'm taking taking suggestions i'd love to use your build appreciate you guys so much hope everybody has a great day and keep coming back